Hello, humans and pets. Today, um, we're gonna be eating some sauce. Um, I'm cold right now, so hopefully this is spicy and warms You're me up. You're warming me up. You should have grabbed the other one. right before night nights. Um, yeah, so this is a late one. Ryan, Ryan worked late. I we worked late. A busy uh, day. Busy day. What is the name of this, Ryan? I'm gonna let you say it. Uh, <laughs> okay, I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's salsa. He, 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 he. Chol or something? Chol. I I'll, I'll show you. Know. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how to pronounce buy it. it. Um, so that's good. I think there's four different flavors. This, just this was another one. donation. From, season uh, with the best spices and hot peppers from the Naya Mountains. Um, so apparently it has like no additives. Um, that's what Google said. I don't know if that's yeah, true. Well, let's try it. Um, I'm ready. But we're going to try it. Um, it said it's a medium heat. Um, but I don't know what that means. No. Um, because medium is different. For so this is another donation from, uh, Uncle um, Michael, Annie Brenda, yes. and Audrey. We so thank, thank you very you. much. Cheese. We got a little cheese and pepperoni to go with this. And you got to open it. I got a dog on my lap. I doubt it. What? Are we going to get tools? Oh my goodness. So we're we, going to do it like the we other didn't look, We, we didn't teams, look in advance. Some so. pepperoni, some summer sausage, and some right. sharp cheddar you're cheese. Gonna, you're going to need to pause this, Ryan. I'm going to need to go get it. I ain't never seen anything like this. I don't know what do you want I have to do to get that off. All right. We'll be back in one minute. We're back. So apparently... um. It's common in like Mexican sauces. We watched a YouTube video on how to open this thing. And that's a Google it tutorial. Well, because it had um, a little nub. I had to, like three different like articles trying to figure out how to do it. I took Would a knife you? and I jammed it in and that's what you have to do. Boop, you gotta pop, pop it. it. Um so you have to make your own hole. Apparently, it helps keep it fresh, of course. Ooh, it smells good though. It does have a nice smell to it. The thing it apparently doesn't Apparently, right? I don't know how many times you're gonna say that word, but <laughs> um, it just doesn't um keep like seeds and stuff don't get stuck as easy. That's what Google said. Okay. Well, Google doesn't lie, right? Mm. Unless they're trying to hide something. All right, I'm ready. Let's see how it pours. You gotta do it. It's a plastic too. little bottle, so you can squeeze it a little bit and it pops out. I don't know what to expect. I don't want one of them. Stop doing one. Nope. All right, I'm gonna do it like I did last time. I'm just gonna lick it off to see the I full effect. Lot. You got a way lot. Oh, Can no. you, do, that's why you have a plate. Open wide. Mm. It's smoky. But not really bad smoky like no. that one I had. It's actually really good. It has like a, uh, I'm impressed. It almost has like a, a chili like taste. It tastes like, like, like a salsa, like a chili. Like, it has the side effect of like Goya beans, like the black beans in a can. Like, you know, like the That syrup, have the chili flavor in it. The chili flavor, yeah, yeah. like Hormel chili stuff. Mm -hmm. It's kind of what it tastes like, but with a um smokiness. It was good on the cheese. It has a nice flavor. Mm -hmm. I don't get that saltiness no none there's no sweetness it's actually a really good flavor i really like it i you don't get that much heat mm -mm. either though it's my one downside no heat level let me go just for the sauce again you don't even taste it when it's in your mouth it's good with the with the pepperoni gives it a little more of a heat Ooh, i'm just gonna do just the sauce again i'm liking it a lot It kind of reminds me of your Cholula. Cholula. Because it, it tastes like a, almost like a salsa yeah. with minimal heat. It's probably about the same heatness of a Cholula. It's not really hot. Yeah, but it has it's got a, a nice little bite flavor. to it, but it has that nice, like, like chili salsa flavor. Yeah, this is really good. No, I, I don't mind it. <clears throat> mm. I like it with the pepperoni because the pepperoni's got a little spice. It's pretty good on the saltines. I haven't tried one yet. 
The protein seems to make it like... I really like it on the cheese. I really like the cheese. Yeah. I'm liking the sauce. Yeah, like now, the too. issue I'm having, right, is it's not too spicy. Yeah. In fact, there's very little Come here. Um, for Come me. On. I would have liked way more with this flavor. Yeah, you, you know, I hear what you're saying. I almost want you this almost want to. This flavor is very unique. I've never tasted a sauce like it. I mean, it reminds me of Cholula, but a it's not. Bit. It has a sauce. Up. But I agree exactly. with you. It'd be nice to have some habanero pepper thrown in there so you could spice it up. Yeah. This is one of those sauces where you want to mix something into it. Mm -hmm. Um. You could drink it. You you could drink this yeah. one for days. This one's this one's nice. I'm liking the flavor. This is. It reminds me like. Come on up. Cholula, right? I wish it was hotter because I. Cholula, love the you like so it's the same thing though. Yeah. It has a nice, nice taste, but it, it's it, it's borderline not a hot sauce to me because yeah. it, it is so mild. You know what I mean? Um, and I think this one might be a little bit hotter than a Cholula. But it's not really any hotter than like a Frank's Red Hot or anything like that. I think it yeah. might even be less than them. You know what I mean? It's pretty close. But it, it's uh, really good flavor-wise. So now, Melinda's I love. Because it has a nice spice. The uh, banana garlic one we yep. had. Yep. It has a nice spice with a nice flavor. Mm -hmm. um, this one has a nice flavor. Just missing the spice. The spice. Um, I would have liked a little more. But Melinda's is one of them ones I want to keep to herself, though. I wouldn't want to mix her, that one, because that has such a good taste. No. This is one of the ones that when I had something like this, and I used to buy the big gallon jug and I would mix up, I would take one of these, but then I would mix it with a really hot one yeah. that didn't taste as good so that you get this flavor with that heat, you know, Like now, there might be other flavors. I, I saw, like, photos of different, like, labels. I don't know if they were different flavors or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, this one has, like, no flavor, um, like, title. Uh, zero calories in this guy. That's, like, most hot sauces, though. So. Mm -hmm. Unless they're, like, added sugars and stuff. But this one, this like one it. definitely would be a good one. It gives you a little bit of heat. But, it, like you said, if you were making a pot of beans... This would just give you that nice flavor and a little bit of heat. You know yeah. what I mean? Like if you're making any any kind of anything, a, a nice I, rice dish, this would go good with it. I think <laughs> anything this would go good with yeah. it. Um, I would like a little more spice. But yeah, I agree. Every time I have the, have it, it's like I. It's it's pretty good. The thing is though, is it has a little spice to it. So for those people that only want a little bit, this this this, this is probably one pretty good that Aunt Brenda probably likes. If she hasn't tried this one, give this one a try because this one's not hot. Yeah, but this is pretty good. Mm -hmm. I really like it. Where well, she thought the Melinda's we had was too hot. Yeah, this one's not nearly in that caliber of, of heatness. Not at all. But it has a nice flavor. It has that mm -hmm. little salsa flavor to it. So, well, there you go. I mean, it, there's not much we can do on this um, one. Number or ranking? Ooh, we did, we, we're ranking I, them all? I Well, we've been doing that for hot sauces. Okay. Um, at least it was a guana one. Uh, it was salty for him. Sweet. It was, so, you it was know, weird. I um, will say, though, uh, I, I actually cut it. I didn't cut it. I took the whole bottle and I added to it some of the ghost pepper, uh, TGI Friday sauce, and some Taco Bell sauce that I had. And I Bell. threw it in a different container and mixed it all up. And it cut a lot of that saltiness out of it. And it's actually a really good hot sauce. I'm, I'm putting it on everything. It's actually, mm -hmm. it's not to the caliber of Melinda's still, but it's, it's not as salty. I found it very, very salty to me. But we're gonna have to start writing the numbers down. I think I gave Melinda's a 
I want to say nine. Nine point five. Um, I'm gonna give this guy a nine. I think. Really, I can't go that high. For flavor. Okay. For heat, I'd probably give. I mean, it an like overall a, a rating, one. no. And that's what I'm getting to. I would give like a eight and a half. I think. Mm, I don't know if I can go that high just because it's it's. When you say a hot sauce, well, this isn't technically a hot sauce, though. It's a salsa. Hot sauce. It says hot sauce it on does the bottom. It does say hot sauce. Um, it is a hot sauce. Kind of like, this is like Frank's. It's like, a, it, yeah. I really like the is. flavor. I'd give it Frank's is. an 8.5. No, I would too. And I'd, I'd suck this guy with Frank's because I, it, it's a great hot sauce. You yeah. put it on everything, right? And it's basically like a ketchup mustard relish, you know? It's a condiment. Um, not like a hot, spicy sauce. It's more like a, it's just a sauce. That any any Mexican meal, well, this would be a great compliment to. Any me. meal I, in I, general. Granted, but like, you know what I mean? Like if you, oh, yeah. if you were making any, any rice dish, any chili tacos, this would go good on all mm. of those, all of the above. I, I agree with that. I, I, I'll say that. I would give this a good eight. And, you know, I want to lean lower because it's not hot, but that for other people, not myself, this is a quality hot sauce because it has a little bit of the heat. You know, because some people only can handle Frank's. You know what I mean? So this would be a good yeah. starter hot sauce because flavor-wise, it, it's really good. The top's a little... Strange. But the top is I a little work. I didn't expect work. that. I literally had to um, take a knife and jam it in and crank it and then cut the top off. Out of the, There was a little nub there. But, uh, no, this, this, this is good. I, I actually mean, don't like buy it, it thinking you'll be able to immediately pour it on a sandwich. No. Um, and I was twisting this whole cap and it doesn't come off no matter yeah, how much you people, twist it. People were posting everywhere, Reddit and stuff. Like, it just turns. It doesn't come it off. It doesn't come off. And there's, there's a thing covering it you know it's not a yeah because even if sauce. i got this off i was thinking maybe they had a sometimes they put the, the paper underneath yeah and that's uh, what i would think it didn't matter because you you had to actually i tried to get a butter knife and pried a little the little tip it, off it's of it on. but it's it's in there you actually had to stab it with a steak knife and, and spin it mm. Oh boy, it's 10 o'clock at night, and loud guy going by, and he goes, <laughs> so, I will say about this one, yeah, and you're not going to mistake it for a, a Frank's flavor, no, it definitely has like that, that chili vibe to it, you know, that's why, like, what made me think of Cholula, because I, I haven't had that in a long like time, like the hot whole melt chili with beans, yeah, type of thing, it reminds me of like a chili flavor more than, um, I don't know why I'm eating. It's way past my eating time, but th this is actually really good. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. There is our salsa huchal. It'll be the hot title. sauce. Um, I would highly recommend this guy. No, this I, is this is if I you're looking this is for worth a... it to go pick up for yourself. It's fun to open. Be careful. Don't stab yourself. Um, but um, it's fun. I think you said it. Unique is a good term. It's different. Out of all the hot sauces I had, it does have a flavor like all. This is own. probably the most original it's hot sauce that we've had on the channel. It doesn't taste like a traditional hot sauce at all. It, it yeah. definitely, it, it kind of gives me the Cholula, Cholula vibe, but I haven't but had that in a long time. That's mainly just because of the salsa. -y. I think he's getting it because of the Cholula and this are more liquidy. No, nah, it's not even texture. Like the I'm, texture. I'm, I'm getting it because of the flavor. Heat. And the flavor is a little bit there. Cholula kind of reminds really me of a salsa. More, yeah. it gives it gives me that salsa. It's kind of like tapateo. I like the garlic. Tapateo is that is another good one too. Tapateo is one of my favorites. I don't think Ryan's ever had that. I've never had it. Tapateo was one of my favorite. It reminds me more of a salsa. Yeah, but it has the hot sauce kick. And uh, this one doesn't really taste like that one. No. And it comes out looking like the the juice that's in a in a in a beans. It, that's like what the, it really the does. Look it almost and the, the it really smell does. And the taste it came to my mind first. Um, 
it's pretty oh, spot on. Yeah. With a, it's really good though. I mean, I could just drink this. You, up. you you could mistake it for like the bean juice. Like honestly, Put this, in this is so. I was gonna say this is so not spicy. You could actually dump this whole bottle in with a thing of kidney beans. You know what I mean? It would be phenomenal. Like that would be your juice. Is that what it's for? I don't think so. It's a 72 servings per container. Um, I would recommend this guy. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I definitely recommend it. It's definitely, it's unique and it's, it's, it's worth a try. Though. But if you're looking for a hot sauce, this ain't your guy. He's low end of the spectrum. You're, 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 you're baby, baby a little bit above Cholula. But maybe in the Franks, Louisiana, red hot. Preserve flavor. at environmental temperature and protect from the solar light. Mm, keep it out of the sun. There it is. I would recommend right. this guy. I can't stop eating it. So <laughs> there you go. I, I mean, yeah. and I, it, to me, it's just like this is a drinkable one. It, it's definitely not hot. But mm. sometimes that's a good thing. But like, it has. Think of uh, Taco Bell. For example, like they're mild. The, even there, not like, their fire. Fire, their fire has that, a little bite. It's probably a line with this. No, I don't think it's. I don't think it's even that hot. I, I would think it would be like their medium, like a, like their in between. This is labeled on Google as like a more medium sauce. Yeah, I, I don't know if it would be in fire category of. of the, I think this tastes like fire sauce. It's actually really good. Heat I, you know, it, I, um, but fire sauce isn't really that spicy. Yeah. I well, but think. some people think it's very spicy, so that's why I'm Compared trying to. Compared to Melinda's, yeah, it's nowhere close. No, um, but it has a great taste. It really does. Um, it has an excellent taste. I relate this to the fire. Sauce. I would put this Four shit friends. on everything, as they say it, <laughs> and as some people say at some ha hot places, because it's I'm really good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would. I would recommend them. I could drink this whole bottle. So we're gonna we're gonna leave it at that. I would definitely try this salsa. I want to massacre the name. Huchal. Who call? Huchal. Um, it looks like this. It's a tall bottle. Yeah, no, it's a big bottle. It it it's it's a big bottle because it it's not like your traditional. It doesn't fit in some of our cabinets downstairs. So it's not like the regular hot sauces. But I don't know how uh, much it was because we didn't buy it. Uh, does it say it on the bottle itself? No. I gotta put this thing away because I'm just gonna keep eating it. But there you go. There is our hot sauce review hot of the sauce day. Review of the day. And I'm uh, still cold. I was hoping for it to be a little bit more spicy. We got some spicy ones coming up, hopefully. Yeah, we like got some five star Melinda. We, we got some stuff. hot ones downstairs that are supposed to be really hot. So the, yeah. we should have did one of them, but it's so late Ooh. at night. Uh, yeah, it's bedtime right now. We're going to call it a night. So there you go. <laughs> there is our salsa review, our hot sauce, sauce review. Hot sauce. Hope you enjoyed the video.